Alright, so I use the the question mark flow check for takeoff. So we start over here, landing light, strobe light, we've set our altimeters, flaps are to take off, we'll go fuel pump, full prop, full rich. How do you do all that? Just right around and then um, pull this tank. And make sure trim is to take off. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, runway 2, clear for takeoff on departure, right turn to the northeast is approved. Alright, so now we're on our course. If you wanted autopilot to take over for you, center your heading bug. There you go, that's center. That's all you gotta do? That's it. Alright, now hit your AP button. Hit your heading button to start with. Alright, so now it's flying under heading button. Now you can hit the nav button. Alright, it's captured your course. Now just enter your vertical speed. You see how it's already in vertical speed? Must use the up down buttons. And set it for about 500 feet. Okay? And then press the arm button. There you go. So once it'll intercept that arm. And now it's flying autopilot. Pull your arm. And the nav. The nav. And if you're close enough to the course, it will lock it in. If you're not, you may have to use heading bug to get over to your Cherokee 671. Uh, Alright, so let's back to 23. Miles, over speedway at 2000 the Skyhawk. Alright, let's say they wanted us to climb to 5000. After that break. Okay, so you first you would change your altitude to 5000. Then press the altitude to get vertical speed. See where it says uh, At that point, then you can start using these buttons to adjust your vertical speed. I find 400, whatever. We're already about to start climbing. Right, right. Then to get out of vertical speed, well, you just go back to there. So if we go back to that, and now we're a little high, so what we'll do is we'll go to vertical speed mode and just tell it to go down like 200 feet a minute, down and re intercept that altitude. Right, today we're flying with Duran. It's my first flight with Duran. He's been in this plane a fair amount. Did some of his private, or all of your private in this plane, didn't you? About to finish up his instrument rating. Had to go somewhere else, so he didn't uh, get the, <laughs> the great Bruce training that he would have gotten. But I, I'm sure they did a fine job. But what we're doing today is we're going to go over some of the things that are, are unique to the G1000 in this plane as related to this instrument flight. Fly, what have you been flying? A 172? 72, and then the... Uh the G5s or something like that? With the G5. Okay, so this is similar, but we're just going to cover. So we're going to do a few approaches and um, just kind of get the... And also, we're using a Cap 140 Autopod, which is ancient technology. It works, but so we're kind of going over how to integrate all that into his flight training so he can start flying through the clouds into Diamond. But the first approach we're going to do is an ILS. And we're not so much worried about the mechanics of the approach as just how the plane works for the approach. Um, so it's really not a foggle event, it's a let's make sure we know how to run the systems the system. on the plane. So right now what we've done is you've programmed in a direct two course to Woker, so which is our initial approach fix for this approach. So the plane is going to fly us there. Let me ask you this. Will it switch as the as you have to get on to that, let's say, at zero five, zero five eight? Will it turn the heading manually because we're on this? Yes, it will. Okay. Yes. So we don't have to touch the heading bug anymore? Nope. No, it's locked in on that course. It will start the approach. But well, that's why you put nav, so the nav can And once we get on the approach, we're going to press the approach okay. button. The APR button. Line but line we don't do that until we get established. That'll do the descent and everything for you? On an ILS, yes. It won't adjust uh, power, but it will do the descent. Is on a... Um, line, uh, Final for 3 one currently, stop On an RNAV, it will not do any vertical guidance. Say 10 okay, you good with that? Okay. Sorry. So if you've noticed, the G1000 automatically entered the localizer frequency in there for you. So you got that, but you do want to confirm that it's there. Yeah, the traffic plan. Sorry. And once we get established on the approach, the CDI should automatically change from GPS to localizer. That's one thing I was I was curious. I seen it on the uh, 
the uh, YouTube, but I wasn't sure if I would have worked on here. Right. Um, again, it's supposed to do all that stuff automatically, but it's up to you to make sure that it really... And if it doesn't, it, what would I push? To push the CDI button. Oh, yeah, CDI. Yeah, yeah. And that would change you to your cab radios. All right, so we're coming up on Woker, which is our initial approach fix. Okay, it's now gone to the next leg. So now, you see how your nav is flashing? All right, press the APR button, put it in approach mode. There it is, it's locked in, and now all of a sudden your glide slope has shown up there. All right, so obviously we're under the glide slope because it's above us right now. We're going to fly into it. Once your glide slope starts coming down and gets about one dot above, that's where I like to get configured down to 90 knots, one notch of flaps, full prop, full ridge, lights on the whole, whole nine yards. And you'll just basically... Do you still keep it on autopilot when you configure it? Yeah. But at this point, it's flying it for you. You uh, basically are just in charge of managing the power and the configuration. All right, so there's your glide slope starting to come in, starting to come down. And it changed to the localizer. There you go. So you're, you're on localizer. And Jambi is our final approach fix, so we just want to be configured when we get to Jambi. And do you have to change it, like the descent rate or the new? Oh, it's doing it. It's going to keep you right on the glide slope. All right, so there's one dot, so we can start pulling our power back, getting configured. How much do you pull it back? Uh, whatever it takes to get us to 90. Uh, we can get to our right, first spot. Get your first notch flaps. All right, full prop, full ridge, fuel pump, just like we're getting uh, set up for landing. And I just want you to keep her at 90 knots. And the well, for the most part, you're doing is playing with the power. That's so correct. All the pilots doing the work for you. Which in the clouds is a godsend. It's amazing. And we've got what? Well, about an eight knot crosswind. Nothing terrible, but you can see it's dead on the line. The autopilot is <laughs> is more precise than we are. Right. Guard the stick with your hand. Right? Okay. Because if this thing quits flying, you got to take over. So take you should over. always be kind of on the stick with the autopilot. All right, so hit you, you know how to turn your lights on? Seven clicks. Seven clicks. There you go. So now we've got all our lights, our rabbit, our pappy. Okay, so you just busted out of the clouds. So now it's just a visual approach. So kill, kill your autopilot um, and just land her down. Autopilot. Then some traffic, 5-6 dumps here. I'm go, uh, roughly 6, speeding up to the north. Right. Now, this is interesting. You see what's happened? Run into suspend mode. So what that means is, it's not going to give you any more guidance. So if you were doing a missed approach, right now we would press suspend. And now what it's going to do is route you to the hold as published. All right. But well, what are we going to go ahead and do? Let's just go down this end. Let's let's go out to, to the left a little bit, just in some clear airspace. Go up to 3,000. And let's reset for the RNAV back on 240. We'll just come back the other way. Yeah, as it's taking you right to the hold, it's set up the hold as published, and it'll it'll put you right in it. But you have to remember to take it out of suspend mode because it doesn't know what you want to do. Uh, you might have landed and it doesn't need guys, but it will not give you the next sequence until you, until you take it out of suspend mode. All right, so now you can put your procedure in. Altitude. David, David, can you at one echo in the 45 left down? Center. That didn't take you. There you go. Our nav 2-4. Our nav 2-4. And you'll have to pull the plate up to see. But we'll go to Hackney. Although we're not going to use that vector option. Oh, Alright, find five, out five, your, five, your minimum. Five, five, uh, in this plane, it'll be 1220, right? Because we don't have any vertical guidance. We can't do an LPV. We can't do a, a VNAV. Okay, now just use your... Oh, and you can go ahead and activate it. All right, so now plot a direct course to Hackney. Right here, just push yes. All right, press, uh, press direct two. Enter, enter. Okay, and now you're going to follow your pink line. And see, it's put the approach in, it's put the hold in, we'll do the course reversal, we'll do the hold in lieu of a procedure. To and like I said earlier, we're just going to have to watch, we're going to have to cut that hold a little short so we don't get your reach. Traffic, Bonanza, 802 and Whiskey is about uh, three miles to the northwest. Fly manual or see if I can do the autopilot. Just, you can try the autopilot if you want, so center that head, all right, so heading bucks good. All right, so first thing is, change your CDI, see how it's still on localizer, so we need to get back to GPS, 
Right now, now you go. So now put your autopilot on. Heading road. Alright, now hit the nav. Traffic non All right, Now it has it intercepted, so you're going to have to get it over more on this pink line for it to intercept the course. Because you see it's you got to fly it manually? Uh, or you're or heading you just heading. It's just heading yeah. over. Right. It says nav arm, so it has not, it's not accepted that. What would it say once accepted? The heading will go away and nav will move to the top. Right. This autopilot will not fly holds. Okay, I don't know I don't know why or why not, but it will not fly holds. So what we have to use is the heading button once we're in the hold. So from here it's giving us a what? It's like a parallel approach. We can fly the parallel approach, just cut it short of where it says to go. So it has us doing a parallel oh I see it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it will, this cheats for you, it'll tell you what approach is appropriate from where you are. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to go even a little more, because we're, we're right of course, right? We're on the unprotected side. You're doing this so that way we don't have to worry about Greensboro airspace, right? Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to cut it short here in a second, but you see how we're on this side of the hole? Yeah, okay. We shouldn't be. This on the unprotected yeah, okay. side of the hole, we should be on that Come side. On and turn Let's just start turning here. Oh, okay. And this is what I talked to you about the other day. We can't just put a 180 turn in the heading button, all right? We kind of got to work it around. Let it catch up a little bit. Turn it. 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 Turn it but it will not do vertical, right? So we're going to have to do our dive and drive and keep up with our altitude and stuff. All it's going to do is track the lateral guidance. That's it. All right, so at Hackney, we're at 3,000. We are. Once we cross Hackney, we can go down to what? 24. 24. 24. So I would go ahead and set that in my altitude bug. No, not there. We're in the 2 for 3, 1. Altitude bug, just so we have it right here. Here. I set it right there. 24 oh. is our next. So I got the next step already programmed in. Oh, that's not going to do anything. It's for... Okay, so now it's switched to the next leg, so let's power back. And now set your head. What? Set your altitude to 2400 on the autopilot. I can go to vertical speed. Just right here, right? Got it. Now go down to like five, 600 feet a minute. Okay, now she'll start going down. And she'll, she'll intercept that. You just need to control the speed. Iquam is the final approach fix, so about a mile before Iguam, let's get configured into our, our approach. The mile before okay, so here's what we did there. See how you're getting off course? That's because you're still in heading mode. So let's get it back this way, and now press approach. Right, and it says approach arm. As soon as you just use your big button to get it back on course, Okay, so you see we're coming back on into our course. The heading bug. Once you start to come in, now you will turn it. Well, it should, we're just going to let it go that course until it intercepts and captures the approach. So right now it says approach arm. David's got traffic beach at 426, Gulf Fox. Now it's on approach mode. Okay, so now it'll follow the course. Now that we're back on that. We're to guard your stick, don't... Uh, kind of low to the ground, right? If that autopilot kicks off, you want to be able to take over. And if it's real bumpy um, and tossing you around a lot, the autopilot will just say, I'm done, and give up. There you go. All right, we have just crossed our final approach fix, so now you can bring her down, so you can bring your autopilot altitude down to 1600. Okay, let's say we, bust, we just busted out of the clouds, so go ahead, give me a landing. Just point right at the top of those numbers and just keep that coming down to where you want. There's something right there, you get something, grab it right uh, there. Yep. Over to the right just a little bit. Let's land this baby. Power out. Keep her coming down. Do not flare yet. Do not push in on the stick for you. Right now. Okay. 
back pressure on the stick. There you go. There you go. Thomas, 6 Delta Sierra, runway 2, clear to land. Runway 2, clear to land. I'm sorry, Thomas, 6 Delta Sierra. Right, just a skosh. There you go. There you go. That's just right around. Five eight six Mike, visual runway two. Number five eight six Mike, Concord Tower. There it is. Runway two. There we go. Now I'm a six Delta Sierra left on Delta taxi out to the ramp. Altitude. Very nice, very nice. Alright, well we covered a lot of ground I think in that, that short of flight.